Okay, so now let's talk about the um, Koshi Gusat theorem. Uh, it says that if f is c differentiable, Uh, on a domain. So if C is differentiable and F prime is continuous, so the complex derivative on a domain uh, T, simply connected. Um, so this is the, we will talk about this. Uh, then, the, um, the contour integral of that is zero for any contour, for any closed contour. And D. So this is D and this is the contour. Okay, so if the function has no poles in the domain D, then uh, Koshigursat says that uh, the contour will be zero. Okay. So let's prove this. Right, okay. Uh, so we will use um, Cauchy-Riemann equations. So first let's write in real and imaginary parts. So we have U, um, plus IV times DX plus uh, IDY. And expand, so take the product here, uh, cross multiply, and you get the following. So that's the real part. Uh, plus PTX QTY. Okay. Um, so from from your math to ninety one, you will have a Green's theorem, which we will not prove here, but they do it in your course, in the vector calculus course. So if you have two fields, let me write it like this. So you have two functions over R2, and you have a, a curve C. Uh, the following is true. You look at the interior of C, and so you have DDQDX. So you can go from from a line integral into a, a, a 2D um, surface integral. Okay, so, so we go from, let me do it here. So we go from, um, you know, integrating along a curve into a integrating the interior. Okay, how long is time? Okay, so let's apply Green's theorem uh, individually. 
Let me make it like this. So for the first guy, we get the following interior of C uh, D. Uh, so uh, this is P and plus minus U is Q. This is V. Okay, so we have minus V dx and then, you know, dp dy, so du dy. Okay. So, okay, and then let's do the imaginary part. So here we have this guy's P and this guy's Q. So we have the U DX and um, DV DY. All right. Okay, so now let's use, um, let's use kosher image. So by CR, what do we have? We have du dx is equal to dv dy. And, um, you know, minus dv dx is equal to du dy. So this guy is zero and this guy is zero. And we get zero. So we show that the contour of F is zero. Okay. okay. If it's differentiable inside the contour. All right, let's do some examples. Uh, compute. Uh, the contour integral over the unit circle for e to the z, uh, 2z squared plus 11z plus 15. Good. Okay, so first, uh, find poles for f. So this is f. Uh, is the equivalent to finding the roots. So I'll leave that to you. I mean, this is just a quadratic, so it's not hard. So we have two z plus three, and z plus five over two. So these are the, so the roots are, let me draw the unit circle. Uh, minus 3 and minus 2.5. Okay. And this is the, the contour. But uh, z minus 3 and minus 5 over 2 uh, are not inside the unit circle. So F is analytic. And so um, it's analytic inside. So by um, Koshi Kushat, uh, we get We get it to be zero. Okay. Let's do some example. 
So yeah, we'll do one more. Uh, compute. So now I say two circle. So we have Z and then plus one over Z square. So try to find this. So you can do it on your own and then pop, uh, pause the clip, try to do it, uh, and then restart. Okay, so here's how you do it. Uh, so yeah, if you want to do it on your own, but if not, yes. Okay, so uh, what are, first you have to find the poles. Uh, this guy has no pole, and this guy has has a uh, pole of order two at uh, z equals zero. Uh, we will talk about order later in this course, so don't worry about that yet. <clears throat> okay. Um, good. So by Kosigushat, the first term is gone. Okay. So that's all. Uh, but for the second one, we cannot use Kosigushat. So we have to do it by hand. Okay. So recall how uh, Andrian that uh, defined the uh, parameterization. We have zero to two pi. And then we have the radius two times e to the i theta squared. And then times two i i theta d theta. Okay. So the two came from uh, the radius. This is the radius. So let me do some cancellations. So what do we have? We have i over two and then ei theta. Um, so I claim that this is a zero as well, but let's see why. So what do we have? Uh, we have e to the minus i to pi and zero. Uh, but these are both one, right? By Olga's formula. So we have one half, one minus one, which is zero. Okay. So, um, Contour of z plus one over z squared is zero. Um, right. So you will see in future, in the next two weeks, that in fact a more general statement is true. You could have had any radius and any power not equal to one and you still get zero, so later. But you can also do it right now with uh, parameterization. Okay, so that's it for Kosigur Next we will do